What is not to love about Ted Lasso? Jeremy Swift, who of course play Higgins, joins us this morning. It's just the best. I was on to the Ted Lasso train very, very early doors. Get you, <laughs> yeah. Not many people were. It was, um, it, there was a kind of glut of people who really got into it initially. And, and that helped it to um, get a second series, I think, <laughs> After the uh, first three episodes had dropped, I think it was the beginning of the next week, it was like, it's been recommissioned. It was like, what? <laughs> you have to wait until the end of a season, at least, before, you know, you, you hear that kind of info. But, yeah, thank you for watching it so early on, Christine. Oh, That's it, just, it was just great. And your character, we, we fell in love with him straight away because you you kind of thought he was a bit complicit in the, the sort of the negative side of, sure. of the club to begin with. But then you you knew why. It's because he just felt guilty and he's just the loveliest man and you kind of wanted him to do so well there and, and the fact he was slightly bullied by the owner and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you just you just and felt probably for him. was by her husband you uh -huh. know before the 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 story Absolutely. really began mm -hmm. uh, you know um, but yes, yeah, certainly in the first season, he's um, he's kind of between a rock and a hard place because he's walking on eggshells because he's got, as you discover halfway through the season, he's got five kids yeah. and, um, you know, he's got a lot of mouths to feed. So he has to compromise himself. So yeah. he gets involved in this revenge scenario. Um, which he's incredibly bad at because he's a terrible spy and he just doesn't have a vengeful no, bone in his body. He's a man of integrity. Yep, absolutely. But he has to bring the the you know the bread in. Um, but he he get, he gets taken along with um, Ted's uh, positivity and um, and it just all makes sense for him. So yeah. The world needs to be more Ted. It that, does. that is just the, that's the way forward. He's got this heart of gold, and you can't help but fall in love with him. Absolutely, <laughs> and you know that's what people are getting from the show, and it's been. I mean, particularly in the last terrible year and a half around the world, you know, people have found it a real balm and a tonic for them. Um, uh, you know, I get uh, amazing sort of messages about people who have, you know, nearly died from COVID and it's just helped them. I mean, it's very, very humbling. And, and of course, the show was conceived to be what it is. Um, and, and in fact, the first season was filmed before everything broke out. Mm. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, the, the world was quite a toxic place <laughs> before COVID, but of course it's, it's helped people in, you know, in ways you couldn't imagine. Any sort of light relief at all that brings a smile and a happiness Absolutely. to people, isn't it? And Jason Sudeik, he just has this talent, doesn't he? And he's very much the backbone of the series, isn't he? I mean, he's producing it, he's writing it, he's, he he's starring in it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's an amazing person. He's a really kind of uh, super smart guy. He's emotionally intelligent, incredibly funny, basically very annoying. Uh, <laughs> how can anybody be that that good? That good. That good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when on, on set, uh, he uh, he's always coming up with stuff which just you know completely floors you, and uh, always churning out different content within a scene. You sort of think. Are you just a top-level script machine? <laughs> you know, it's, he's just fantastically talented. It's a great environment. And then working alongside your wife. I <laughs> have been, yes. Yeah, that was amazing in the first season that Bill Lawrence, the, yeah. uh, the legendary producer of Scrubs and other great shows, said, how long, how, how, how well do you get on with your wife? And I said, well, pretty well. <laughs> All uh, right. Yeah, still together. Um, and uh, yeah, so, he's, so he brought her on board to, to play my wife. Your real wife. My mm -hmm. real wife, Julie Higgins. <laughs> and of course, the show has just um, been nominated for 20 Emmy nominations. Well, which I is... was going to get to that, Jeremy, 20 uh, Emmy nominations and one for you as well. And one for me. <laughs> Let's is... not forget that. Yeah. What a wonderful moment that must have been to get the call to say you're on the list. I know. I really didn't think I was going to be. Um, and in fact, I was supposed to be listening out for when uh, that was going to happen because I was supposed to do some PR interviews. But I was, um, <laughs> I was just looking online for concerts for the proms, actually, and my American manager rang me and told me, you know, I just, I just completely 
in disbelief, but it's very, very humbling, amazing. It's a wonderful, wonderful moment for all of you, but deserved at this point, like we say, it's such a great series. Of course, we have to mention Downton as well. Are you still a fan, Jeremy? Do you watch the movies? Do you still feel like part of that family? Uh, oh, I, I do, and I loved working with all those people. I, um, uh, I would have loved to have had another go with, with Spratt, but um, you know, other stuff like Ted has come along. Um, so, uh, but you know, I, I wish them all the best with the movies, and um, yeah, it was it was a great experience and a great show to work but on. Sprat could come back, you know. It's not like something terrible happened. I mean, he he could he could come back and make an appearance know. again. So. You never know. <laughs> You'll be sort of walking back on set with your Emmy this time around, clearly, though, won't you? So <laughs> that's the way it works. Uh, Jeremy, I have to say, it's just a great series. It's lovely to meet you as well. Thank and you. such Thank a big, big part of it. I see Ryan Reynolds, by the way, has jumped on board. Uh, yes, my, uh, the, in the episode that, um, that dropped on Friday, I, my character Higgins mentions that <laughs> Wrexham, which in you know, real life is, uh, is owned by Ryan Reynolds and yeah. Rob McElhaney, I said, I've got a call from them, but I don't know whether they're them oh, Owning, uh, buying the club is a joke or not. So Ryan Reynolds and Rob have said, could you cease and desist Apple TV <laughs> and uh, from, you know, um, you know, making us look like a joke. So please send some <laughs> Ted Lasso biscuits to this address. So I have ordered some Fortnum and Mason uh, biscuits, uh, which I will be sending Well, Ted them. makes shortbread. We see that in every episode, don't we, when he's coming in with his shortbread? Absolutely, shop yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He can do it himself. Thank yeah. you so much, Jeremy. Great to see you. And Great you. Great to see you. Uh, Ted Lasso continues this Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.